<laughs> oh my goodness, folks. Listen, this one is rich. <laughs> the Bible makes a lot of things clear about the things that we're going to see in the last days. And there's a lot of things we've been talking about, right? We've been talking about the fact that eventually Iran is going to join up with Russia. Or the leader of Russia is going to lead this attack against uh, Israel, we've been talking about that a lot, what's going on in Ezekiel chapter 38 and 39. We've talked about God gathering his ancestrally chosen people from all four corners of the earth. As it says in Ezekiel chapter 37, he's gathering them in unbelief. All these things are happening, but folks, this one, oh my goodness, you can't make this stuff up. You cannot make this stuff up. It is unbelievable. Now, We've talked about the drones that are being sent right now by Israel, and we'll talk about them a little bit more in a few days. But besides that, I want to talk about military operations that are going on right now with Iran against the United States using Iraq as a proxy. Now, I came across a news article on the Jerusalem Post that actually talks about this extensively. And there's a lot of articles like this that have been talking about the fact that Iran is literally using Iraq as a proxy to attack the United States of America. And while all of this is happening, the leader of Iraq is wanting to talk peace with everybody. And I don't know about you. Hopefully you can see what's going on here. But it's interesting because we know that the United States of America has to become inconsequential in the last days because it's not mentioned in Bible prophecy. Now, my hope, my hope has always been that there would be a radical revival and a spiritual awakening in the United States of America, that everybody would be raptured, and when the rapture takes place, the United States becomes inconsequential by virtue of the fact that it doesn't really exist. But the way things are beginning to look, especially by the wokeism that's being adapted by people who call themselves pastors in the church and all the other nonsense that's going on. It looks like the United States of America, at least at this moment, is weakening because of the horrible decisions of its leaders and the horrible decisions of its spiritual leaders. Now, this is what's getting even in more interesting. The inconsequential aspect of the United States of America that seems to be growing and growing and growing is continuing to happen at the hands of other nations acting against it, using others as proxies. The attacks against the United States of America that are taking place right now, against them, by people in Iraq, are not being viewed as attacks from Iran. The United States, the Biden administration, is simply claiming that these are people who are rising up who are doing evil things from Iraq and we need to deal with it, but really it's not our battle to fight and they're kind of walking away while Iran is having its way using its proxies in Iraq, in Yemen, in some places, actually believe it or not, in Syria, uh, Hamas, uh, Hezbollah, all of these places are being all manipulated by Iran to do the things that they're doing and the inconsequentiality, I just made up that word by the way, of the United States of America is growing. It's growing substantially. Folks, Jesus is coming soon. Have I said that before? Let me say it again. Jesus is coming soon. The signs are here. Guys, guess what? It's time to look up. It's time to look up because we are watching things formulate all around. All of these things are happening. And I'm not saying that these are the things we read about in the Bible. But what I am saying is that God appears to be laying the groundwork to make these things happen. To allow these things to happen so that we have the groundwork necessary in order for it to all come together. Guys, you can't make this stuff up. This is incredible what we're seeing. Folks, look up because Jesus is coming soon. And I don't know about you, but get your spiritual affairs ready. Get your eyes on him. Seek him. Put him first. Love him more than you love anything or anybody else. And watch God do a great work because we're living in the greatest days to ever be alive as Christians. Take advantage of what God has available for you, especially if you're living in the United States of America. Know that God has got great amazing, wonderful plans for us as the church. And it's time to look to him because he's our only hope. He's the only one that we have left. Keep seeking him, you guys. Jesus is coming soon. Don't forget it. God bless you.